Hello, Facebook subscribers. I am so excited and quite honored uh, to be able to record this tiny little note for you. But before I go on, I want to read one of the most uh, striking quotes I've ever read. Uh, it goes like this. To forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you. To forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you. I was once upon a time uh, that prisoner. My name is Yves Dushime, and when I was 11 years old, I received one of those uh, red and green shoe boxes from Operation Christmas Child, and it, and it has changed my life radically, and it continues to change it today. I was living in a country called Togo in West Africa, but that's not where I'm originally from. My family is originally from the country uh, of Rwanda. Now, as many of you know, in 1994, Rwanda went through one of the worst atrocities uh, to have ever befallen humanity, the Rwandan genocide. And uh, in case you don't remember, within the first 100 days of this conflict starting, it claimed the lives of approximately 1 million people. Now, among that million people were my family members. I've never gotten the chance to meet my uncles, my cousins, my uh, grandfathers, my grandmothers, because they were killed for, for the crime of being born in an ethnic group none of us chose to be born into. And, you know, growing up as a kid, I struggled to understand how humanity could be so evil. And, uh, and, and I went looking for answers. I wanted to make sense of it all. But in my quest for answers, I didn't find any. And that left me broken. It left me wrecked. But more than that, it left me with a hatred for humanity, not, not just for the people that had killed my family, but for the rest of the world as well, because to me, the, the world had stood idly by for 100 days while a million people lost their lives and they did nothing to stop it until it was too late. And the truth is that hatred consumed every bit of who I was and I saw no way out. But I am here today because God made a way and he used somebody just like you to get me to the other side simply by packing an Operation Christmas Child Shoebox gift and sending it my way. And I know some of you are thinking, whoa, how is that possible? I thought these were just uh, regular, simple Christmas gifts, but there is so much more than that. Because when I opened up that shoebox, there was a sticky note at the very top and that sticky note read, God loves you, Jesus loves you, I love you. Now I had heard the first two things before because I grew I grew up in the church and my parents are pastors, but here I was faced with that third line. And I love you from a member of that very humanity that I was full of hatred towards. And they were telling me that, look, Eve, despite your hatred for me, I love you anyway. And here's proof of my love. And in and, and the form of a real and tangible gift filled with the very items that you desperately need. Let me tell you that that sticky note wrecked me. It shook my world to the core because it challenged every, it was challenging every previously held beliefs that I had in my heart that humanity uh, was doomed and didn't deserve my kindness is certainly not my forgiveness because here was someone proving to me otherwise. Now God began to use that sticky note in that box as a turning point in my in my life where he started to uh, begin a work of healing uh, in my heart by ridding me of all that anger, of all that pain, of all that brokenness, simply by reminding me that if an ordinary man or woman out there in the world could demonstrate this love in the same way this person had, then how much greater must his love for me be? Now, his love, the creator, his love has set me free. It has rescued me from, from, from the, the, the bondages of, of anger and hatred that I carried in my heart. And, and it has allowed me to, to forgive not only those that, that harmed uh, my family members, but the, the world and to forgive myself, especially for all the hatred that I carried in my heart for so long. And look, my life has never been the same since that shoebox arrived in, in my life 15 years ago. And I owe all of that to someone like you packing a shoebox gift so that I could come to forgive uh, and set a prisoner free and that prisoner being me and, and be the person that I am today. And you know, the beautiful thing is I am not the only one. There are so many children all across the world who have been impacted in one way or, or the other. 178 million plus kids have been impacted by a shoebox gift. And, and we owe all of that to someone like you packing a shoebox and sending us this powerful message of hope uh, so we can be who we are today. So if you've ever packed a shoebox before, 
before. I just want to express my gratitude in this moment. If you haven't, I want to encourage you. But either way, I want to challenge each and every single one of you. I know you know the world is in crisis. The world is, 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 in, is in chaos because of the craziness that's happened in this year. And as a result, now more than ever, the world is in desperate need of hope. And us as believers, we know that hope has a name. And his name is Jesus. And you and I can be a part of sending that hope all across this planet through a simple shoebox gift. So may God bless you for who you are. And thank you very, very much.